what is going on everybody so yes you did read the title right i do have to buy purchase four vehicles within the next two weeks and i'm gonna explain it so yeah guys basically uh a few months ago i kind of got really serious about uh starting my own company kind of like going through the whole process doing everything right so uh i filed for my llc um i want to say about two two and a half months ago and it got uh Everything went through, I want to say, about uh, four weeks ago. So, yeah, all that is good to go. But basically, uh, I was so up in the air about what kind of business I wanted to start. You know what I'm saying? I was considering a lot of things. The biggest thing on my list really was uh, hot shot trucking. Uh, problem with that, though, is because of my age. Uh, I'm 22. Uh, so, basically... I called my insurance, you know what I'm saying? I, I found trucks that I can get, I can get, you know what I'm saying? I found a trailers I can get, you know what I'm saying, that I could afford. And the thing was, I called the insurance and asked how much the insurance would be because, you know, when you do those kind of things, you have to have cargo insurance for whatever you're hauling. You, you have to have a lot of different insurances, you know what I'm saying? So your everything is covered, okay? But basically, uh, what had happened was I called them and they told me, uh, yeah, because of your age, you know what I'm saying, the things you want to be hauling and stuff like that, you're looking at, uh, I believe it was uh, three or four thousand dollars, if not more, per month, per month, uh, just for one truck and trailer, and that's just for the cargo and stuff like that. But I was like, that's a, you know, what I'm saying that's that's a pretty penny, you know, what I'm saying just to be paying out of pocket just for insurance. Uh, and I want to do everything right, so I was like, Ugh, like I'm kind of not leaning towards that no more, cause you know, what I'm saying without that it'd be cool, but that i'd have to, you know what i'm saying you know how many deliveries and stuff i would have to do just to pay for the insurance i'd probably have to work almost a week just, you know what i'm saying out of the month just to pay for insurance alone that's not including the car payment that's not including any you know what i'm saying gas that's not including anything repair bills and nothing like that that's literally just including the insurance okay so i was like yeah that's out the window. so after i decided that that idea was out the window i still have my llc and i was like i gotta do something i want to do something i want to start something you know what i'm saying so my original idea the trash truck is here that's that's why if you're hearing something yeah trash truck's here but i was like i need to do something and my thing was i wanted to do something in the realm of cars because i like cars you know what i'm saying and that was a kind of you know what I'm saying that's my passion that that's what i enjoy doing so like if i can make a, a decent living off of doing you know what i'm saying something that i like and things i like not one i'll be happy you know what i'm saying most important thing and two i'll be more motivated to do more because it's things that i like you know what i'm saying so it was a win-win and i was like yeah i'm gonna try it out see what happens and let me get into the story so me being very naive uh i was thinking that i formed my llc i was gonna go to the bank you know what i'm saying and uh because my plan was to rent out cars that's what i'm gonna be doing renting out vehicles okay and my plan was get my LLC, you know what I'm saying? Go to the bank, cause you know what I'm saying? I'm cool with my bank, you know what I'm saying? We are we like this, okay? I'm cool with my bank. So go to my bank, you know what I'm saying? Get a loan, a business loan, and you know what I'm saying? Be on my way. The thing is, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, when you have like an LLC and stuff like that, and you have like business accounts, so your personal credit is separate from your business credit, okay? So things that I finance and stuff through my business, you know what I'm saying? doesn't go against what i can afford on my personal you know what i'm saying so i can buy cars you know what i'm saying on my business and then i could go and buy you know what i'm saying a house on my personal you know what i'm saying because they don't they don't intertwine you know what i'm saying so that was what my big idea was i didn't want to have to use my personal credit to get my business up and going but here's how things change so basically guys uh the moral of the story you know what i'm saying to, to sum it up uh call the bank and kind of just was getting ideas of what I had to do for my next steps. You know what I'm saying? Because when you create a business, just a, a business bank account, it's a lot of work. Most things, you know what I'm saying? Most bank accounts nowadays, you just create online. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of just online bank accounts that like locate, they don't have actual like physical location. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, Chime and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, but business is totally different. Uh, you have to have, uh, you know what I'm saying? Submit a lot of forms, uh, different authorizations, like, a lot of signatures, you know what I'm saying? A lot of this, this is a lot of everything, you know what I'm saying? And all this is brand new to me, you know what I'm saying? So it's taken me a little bit, you know what I'm saying, to get everything together because they're asking for documents that I've never heard of in my life, you know what I'm saying? So that's why it's taken me longer. Uh, I submitted all my stuff uh, already, uh, but I'm planning on just going to a bank and, you know what I'm saying, taking everything, you know what I'm saying? If not more, 
that I think I need and just showing up and being like, yo, could I start a bank account? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? Uh, that's probably what I end up doing because uh, sending stuff in and, you know what I'm saying, mailing stuff and having to wait for a response back and it's it's not it. Um, but yeah, basically the bank told me when I applied for the loan that uh, to get approved for a business loan, I have to be in business for three years. I just started last month. So it was at that moment when I was like, hmm, it's not going to go as planned. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get a check, you know what I'm saying, through my, for, through my business, you know what I'm saying, without having any income. I was like, so I got to figure something out, you know what I'm saying? So here's what I came up with. Now, my plan all along was to like rent out cars. Now I wanted to do like exotic cars, which I still want to do. But uh, like the area that I'm in, it's just not smart. I, I just don't feel like I could uh, rent them out. I don't feel like this is the uh, location, you know what I'm saying, to do it. I don't feel like the business would be enough, you know what I'm saying, to keep me uh, above water. Uh, so I'm starting off smaller, and especially because I can't get a business loan. I have to use everything off my personal, which I mean, I guess is okay. But kind of really wasn't uh, planning on that. But I mean, it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. But what basically... was. Uh, the Mercedes that I just bought, you know what I'm saying? I uh, went on Toro and I uh, listed it up yesterday uh, for rent, you know what I'm saying? Just to, just to, just to see, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it's like, i rather start with something and I don't really drive the Mercedes, you know what I'm saying, all that much. And it is what it is, honestly. So uh, yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm just gonna see what happens. Uh, maybe it'll get rented, maybe it won't. Like. If it's not, you know what I'm saying, that maybe I got to rethink this business idea, you know what I'm saying, go back to the drawing board, see what's up. But, uh, yeah, so I put it up yesterday and I was like, literally had like the app open, literally open, checking it like every five minutes to see like, oh, did it get booked? Did it get booked? Did it get booked? You know what I'm saying? And, uh... I stopped after like three hours. I was like, okay, this is probably not going to get booked today. It is what it is. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Just starting up. But then it actually got booked yesterday uh, for four days. So today is Tuesday. It got booked from tomorrow, Wednesday. No. Thursday. It got booked from Thursday to Sunday. Okay. So Thursday to Sunday, you're hearing that from the bank. I was like, okay. Um, I might have to downgrade my own collection, you know what I'm saying, to be able to go out and get more, uh, like, auto loans. I mean, I could, you know what I'm saying, go use cash to go buy things, but I just don't like doing, I don't like using capital, you know what I'm saying, to go do things when I can do on credit to save the capital and be able to use the capital when I actually need it for something, you know what I'm saying, in the long, you know what I'm saying, in the long run. That's just my thinking, and so far... It's been working, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to stick with it. If it's not broke, don't fix it. I'm going to stick with it until something happens and I learn a lesson and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to switch it up, you know what I'm saying? But until then, I'm going to stick to what I'm doing, okay? So basically, uh, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to I'm have to downgrade my collection, you know what I'm saying? And uh, pull some, like, strings, maybe, like, trade in a car or, or do something to be able to, like, finance a few, you know what I'm saying, vehicles to be able to rent out. And I was like, you know what? I mean, worst that can happen is, you know what I'm saying? I apply for the loan just to see what the bank's doing. You know what I'm saying? Because last week, uh, I didn't tell you guys, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I actually was approved to get, uh, well, conditionally approved because the vehicles I was looking at are considered specialty vehicles to my bank is what they were telling me. They can't just send me a check anymore. They said for the vehicles I'm looking to trade in the Hellcat in for, uh, I have to like, they're since they're specialty, I have to like send in all the VIN number and all that stuff first. They have to like, do all this value stuff and all this, you know what I'm saying? It's a whole different process, you know what I'm saying, because of the kind of cars it is. But I'm looking at, okay, a C8, that's one car I was looking at trading in the Hellcat for, a C8, a GTR, or an i8. That's what I was uh, looking at trading the Hellcat in for. But uh, yeah, we shall see. But basically, I was like, well, maybe I, can't, I shouldn't do that now. Maybe I should, like, downgrade the Hellcat a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, ah, I just don't I just don't know. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go apply for something and see what happens. Because at the end of the day, I still have the Mercedes that I could rent out. I'm not going to rent out the Hellcat. You know what I'm saying? That's that, that's not happening. And I'm, the Infinity is just, it's not practical to rent out. And the miles are too high. You know what I'm saying? It's too low. Like, it's too loud. Like, it's... It's not practical to rent out. So the only car I could really rent out is, you know what I'm saying? And I can't rent out my work van. So the only thing I could rent out is the Mercedes. And hence what I did. So uh, since that first trip has booked, uh, I was like, I really got hype. I was, I was like, oh my gosh, like that was quick. Like that was just like, 
a snap. So I was like, okay, yo, this can actually work. I can actually be cooking something up, you know what I'm saying? To be cooking something up, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, I need more inventory. I need more inventory. I was like, I don't really have a fear of not being able to get proof for that. It's really, you know what I'm saying? Just the the like the depth of income, you know what I'm saying? The vehicles that I like want to get. Uh, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to start off small, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I wanted to buy like five brand new vehicles. That's what I wanted to do uh, originally. Um, but I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna start off smaller. I kind of like look at the numbers, look at the, you know, saying the margins and stuff like that, and the ROI and stuff like that. And I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna start off with uh, more basic vehicles, and I'm gonna work my way up. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I applied for four loans, four different loans. I applied for four loans, guys. So yeah, so I basically I applied for four loans. I applied for two of them. And then like waited 30 minutes and I applied for two more of them. You know what I'm saying? And they all got approved. So yeah, then I'll be going out to a dealership to purchase uh, four vehicles. Now I really want to purchase four vehicles. Like my goal, there was a goal that I've always had and it was uh, to purchase um, two vehicles in the same day. That's That's been a goal of mine. Now, originally I thought I was gonna be purchasing vehicles for myself, not for the company, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Still accomplishing it. But what I'm trying to do is purchase four vehicles in a day four times two so I'm, I'm trying to double what my goal was you know what i'm saying so that that would be crazy but it's just so much time and stuff have to go into it because all the paperwork to make sure the car's reliable you know what i'm saying this that the third call you know what i'm saying the insurance like literally everything and so basically the only way it would work is if some of the vehicles came from the same dealership which i mean is definitely possible we'll see what's out there uh but yeah so that is why i have to buy four vehicles and within two weeks now Technically, I don't only really have to buy them within two weeks. Uh, the checks are good for like 90 days, I believe. So, like, I have three months, you know, what I'm saying to find something or return and get it, you know, what I'm saying a, a higher amount. Like, it, it is what it is, whatever, whatever comes down to. Um, but yeah, I was actually uh, kind of surprised myself that I got approved for four auto loans within uh, like an hour of each other, like, like all different applications. So, I was like, you know what. I'm not complaining. You know what I'm saying? I'm not complaining. Now you going to get me in. I'm going to take it. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, what the car payment is going to be for those is going to be a lot less than what I'm going to be bringing in from those vehicles. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm going to have like four additional car payments now. You know what I'm saying? And I already, you know what I'm saying? I already have the ones I have. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like now I have four on top. So, adding four car payments basically like one time all the payments are going to be due around the same time because i'm going to be buying the vehicles around the same time so like it sounds like it's really scary you know saying to most people but to me i just know like the vehicles that i'm looking at i'm going to be smart about it i know i'm going to be able to make more money than what the car payment is and what the insurance costs for you know what i'm saying and all of that you know what i'm saying with the depreciation you know what i'm saying all that kind of stuff i'm still gonna be able to pocket money from it and that is the ultimate goal okay so that is what is going on that is why i'm giving myself two weeks uh now originally as soon as i seen that the mercedes running out i said i want to have a fleet of five cars you know so i want to add like well three i want to add three or four cars saying within the next two weeks